Neymar, Messi, Suarez, more than attack. Barcelona are going to be a formidable force next season. They've just taken Liverpool's best player, 69 goals in 110 league appearances. What a fantastic player he was for Liverpool last season. All the goals, all the moves, the dummy against Tangerland, against Fulham, the way he eluded Mark Noble against West Ham, the free kick against Everton, where Steven Pienaar just looks at it at the end and threw his hands up in the air in despair. And Norwich, the way he destroyed Norwich, the four goals, the assist, the lob, the drive, the masterclass. John Ruddy will certainly be pleased to see him go, as I'm sure a few uh, uh, Premier League referees and certainly the Football Association's disciplinary department will be pleased to see Suarez go. But it must be remembered what a formidable footballer he was last season for Liverpool. He was rightly voted Player of the Year by the players, by his peers. He was also rightly voted Footballer of the Year by the, the football journalistic fraternity. We criticised him a year before, clearly because of his disgusting behaviour, racially abusing Patrice Evra, and then also later on the bite on Branislav Ivanovic. But during the season, he behaved himself, he scored. And this is the problem that Barcelona are getting. They are getting a fantastic footballer, a dedicated trainer, a family man, and he will do great things for them in that attack. But Suarez has this psychological flaw, and unfortunately all the denial merchants in Uruguay have not helped him by making him perceive himself to be the victim rather than the perpetrator, because he is the perpetrator. He racially abused Patrice Evra, he bit Ivanovic, he bit Chiellini. Now whatever the, the situations are, whether you feel he's being tightly marked, there's something in his character that makes him snap. And Barcelona, when he goes through the medical, sure they'll check the teeth, but they've also got to check the head. Find out, get into Suarez, why this fantastic footballer, who really could be gracing the, uh, the World Cup final here at uh, Maracanã on Sunday, he has the ability to grace the, the greatest stages of all. He certainly will do well at Barcelona. But if he retreats into this very dark place that he goes to, when he feels threatened, when something happens, when something clicks inside, Barcelona are going to have a player who goes and sits in the stand again. So they have work to do with him. Suarez has work to do because there is a brilliant player in there, but it's a very psychologically flawed one. Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool have been through this before. They've lost good players, they've brought in good players, Liverpool carry on, clubs do carry on, they have the support, fantastic support at Anfield, they have a brilliant young manager in Brendan Rodgers, they have a good captain in Steven Gerrard, and they've got some young talent, the likes of Raheem Sterling and an attacker in Daniel Sturridge will probably move up another gear next season without Suarez, although Suarez helped him become a better player, work with him at Melwood, clearly provided so many of his goals, assists on the pitch. They will move, Liverpool move on. They've got a good owner in John W. Henry. Suarez has moved on. He's got to look at himself. Otherwise, he'll let down Barcelona again. He'll embarrass a great club.